Good afternoon and welcome back to Buster Boom. Massive episode today. We're going to take on West Ham away from home in the last game of the season. And that's not the reason you're here though, is it? Let's be honest. Then Spurs in the Champions League final. A real chance to win the Champions League this year. But we will be doing it without our best player, Luciano Brito, which is a bit of a problem. But if there's ever a time to win the Champions League, it's now. Since you were last with me, we played a couple of games. We'd already won the league, hadn't we? So we beat Everton 3-1. Really comfortable wins, and Ardini got a couple, and Jao Pedro got one. Then Aston Villa, Zinardini, Silva, and Pedestri got one. And we bring ourselves into West Ham. This starts to have the table look, and we're massively clear. 89 points, so we'll get, we could get 92 today. Which isn't amazing. We have finished with 100-odd points. We finished with an unbeaten season as well. But the rest of the league has just been awful. Look, City, nine defeats. Arsenal, eight defeats. Liverpool, nine defeats. United down in 12th. With 14. They've lost more games than they've won. Uh, Villa, Newcastle and Everton probably going down. We relegated Villa with that game. They were they were really poor, to be honest. They didn't offer anything, so they deserve to go down. And there you are, the final against Spurs at the Luzniki in Russia. So it's a nice, easy trip to Russia for all us um, English fans. <laughs> Bizarrely. But anyway, this is how we're going to line up for the... Who are we playing? West Ham game. Marzuki, Brucey, Kiff, Maravich, Batang, Jao Pedro, Silva, Eldrissi, Prosperi is in, rather than Meza. Prosperi's got a couple of goals, so why not? Zenardini and Nicholas. Let's get out there and, and win handsomely and set ourselves up for a Champions League final, which, let's be honest, could go either way. We could win, like, 15-0, or we could lose 15-0. Uh, what do we say here? Go out there and carry on your last lot off. Yeah, I'll do that. And it's Scott Parker's their manager. I didn't even look at their team, did I? Their team is nobody you're going to recognise, so I wouldn't worry about it. Um, Howell plays on the boy I tried to buy a few times, but yeah, he's not very good now. Fourth best striker in our squad if he comes. Um, but yeah, you don't need him. we got better players coming back. Mohamed Blair heads it to Pedro. Brewski gets it away. Flicked on by Nicholas. Nicholas tries to chase it down, but doesn't. Kobarov. Garcia. Kobanov again. Howell. Watch him score now. There you go. That's why I didn't buy him. Just pass it straight back to Marzuki. Marzuki picks it up. It shouldn't have even been a highlight, to be honest. They've had more shots than us. Which is interesting. So I'm not sure what's going on. We're going to demand more early on. 22 minutes in. Not a great deal's happened. I don't know why I'm actually showing you this game, to be honest. But I thought, you know what, I'll show you the last game of the season. We always do at least two games, don't we? Weird coming back for one. Brewski brings it forward. Knocks it back to João Pedro. João Pedro to Prosperi. Nicholas is in. Can he finish? He can't. He tried that little chip, but it didn't work this time. Uh, I'm still just about recovering from the game yesterday, to be honest. The Barcelona game nearly gave me some sort of, you know, PTSD, to be honest. I was scared to stop boot this up again. We should have scored again there. Marzuki to Maravic to Silva. Silva out wide to Bruski. Bruski brings it forward. Still going. Drops it back to João Pedro. João Pedro to Nicholas. Nicholas. João Pedro. Zanardini. Prosperi is in. Oh, it was a good save by the keeper. He should have scored, though. Like I said, he has scored a few. He's getting into those areas. Silva with the corner. It's headed back to Silva. Silva to Prosperi. Silva again. Balls the back post to nobody. Zanardini can't get there. And that's the highlight over. We'll come back more into it now. We got more of the ball. We've had more. Well, let's say we have more shots. We haven't. That would be a lie. But we're playing better. We have better XG is what I'm looking for. We wanted, didn't we not have another one on target there earlier on? But no, no, half time. <clears throat> it's not the best. Um, I'm not happy with your performance. I've upset Carmen Bruski, who's having a good game. No, he's not. Why well, are you upset, man? Shouldn't be too upset. But what well, we are, 53, 54, and not much is happening. Everyone's playing okay. No one's having an absolute stinker, but Zanard, well, Zanardini is now. As if. To prove me wrong, I'd like Zinardini to get coupled so he gets in the top three of the top goal scorers this season. Because he scored quite a few at the back end. Eladrissi, oh, it's saved again. I wonder if their goalkeeper's good. Silver's tired, so we'll get Silver off. We can't have Silver tired for the Champions League final. We'll get Meza on. Silver with the corner. It's headed back to Silver. He gets it back into Prosperi. Prosperi to Kift. Kift all the way back to Bruski. Bruski. And there you go, highlights over. Oh, Zenardini is not playing very well. So, neither um, Nicholas. So, what do I do? What would you do? 
We do have strikers on the bench. Kift hoops it forward to Zardini. See if he can set one up here. He beats his man. So, oh, El Adresi, but it's a poor. Maravich has got it though. Maravich to Batang. Batang to Meza. Meza. I don't know what Meza's doing there, to be honest. Kift, Bruski, El Adresi. Jao Pedro to Bruski again. Bruski into the box. All the way back to Kift. What is this kid? A bit of play going on. El Adresi's got it now. Can he get a ball in? He's beaten one man. He squares it to Meza. It's blocked. Jao Pedro, and it's saved. Oh, it's going to be a nil-nil, isn't it? I'm going to show you a nil-nil to warm for the Champions League. Is what I'm going to do. Uh, Batang's tied. Get Salazar on from him. And we'll, what we'll do is we'll swap those two around. And... We'll get Nicholas off and bring on Jovic. Give Jovic a run out. The last seven minutes. See if he can get us a goal. Let's go very attacking for the last couple of minutes. Warm up with a nil-nil. How boring. And then my Meza with a free kick. Into the box. Headed clear. And they're going to probably beat us. How racing forward. Gives it out to Kobanov. Kobanov. Down the wing. Can we get a block in? We can't. And they have pretty much beaten us. <laughs> this is not how you warm up for a Champions League final with a defeat to West Ham. And this is our full team as well. At least they're going to get a bit of a break. Oh no. What if... What if it's how we play in the Champions League final? I'll cry if we lose another Champions League final. We've got another highlight though here. Maravich to Meza. Kobanov. Kobanov gives it to Howell. Are they going to score a second? Howell races forward. He's still going. He's still going. He gets a ball into the box. Vitor. Kobanov. And they've scored a second. In injury time. Um... <laughs> And it's not like I've taken this game lightly. We played our best team. It's available. But how gets the ball into the box? Vitor knocks it back, and Kobanov with a great finish, and it's 2 0 West Ham. And everyone's unhappy. And I am not impressed with that. That performance has shown me there's a lot of work to be done. That there's an awful lot of work to be done before the Champions League final. That is awful. We've won the league though, 89 points. 14 clear of City. Got a nice big break here before the end of the season. We got £42 million. Reading going down the last day. So Everton stayed up. Interestingly enough. Lucky gets. Nunes is still their key player. Not as good anymore, is he? Look at the stats. He's still a decent third best striker. And I'll Why did I sell him? Needed the money, didn't I? Oh, we got 42 million. Medals for Premier League win. Collective bonus was paid out 16 million. Club finances are looking healthier. 13. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, we don't have much of our transfer budget left. I'll show you that next season. Don't you worry. So, let's see the little awards at the end of this season here. If it comes up. We're getting slower and slower loading because we're that far in. I've got that many leagues loaded that it's taking a little time sometimes. Here we are. 14. Brito, new record for Brito. He got 18 assists, 19 assists in this Premier League season. Uh, Lloyd Wolf, and then he's going to be, oh, look at him. Oh, he's just getting better and better. Louis Blanc, again, getting better and better. And I can't pronounce his name, getting better and better. He'll go out again next season. Football, football of the year is George Rue. Rue gets. English Players Player of the Year. Rua named English Premier League Top Goal Scorer. Zinardine named as English Players Young Player of the Year. There you go. I need to, need to praise him on that, don't I? Arm around. Congratulations. Marzuki wins Golden Glove. Well done, Marzuki. He got... How many? How many clean sheets? 17 clean sheets. Uh, the team of the season is basically all our team. And Rua. <laughs> That's just... That's just unbelievable, isn't it? You know, <laughs> what can you say? Garcia, and Nate, oh, you know, he's this guy I'm scouting. Amal, um, let's have a look at this boy as well. 28. Too old. I'm not bringing 28 year olds in. He's good, isn't he? We'll give him a quick scout. And Darlington Team of the Year bonuses. Oh, everyone gets a load of money. So, I'm going to click on for the Champions League final. That's what you're here for. Uh, it's just a bit of a teaser playing West Ham. And I'll see you in a second. Welcome back then for the Champions League final at the Lose Nicky Stadium. 
in Russia. It's raining, and our record against Spurs is never great, is it? We have won the last two, though. Um, so in the last five meetings, we've won two, lost two, drawn one, which isn't as bad as it was. Remember last season, they absolutely battered us. They beat us 7-1 at one point. I'm a little bit scared. Uh, I'd prefer to be playing PSG, to be honest. I'm pretty sure we could have beaten them. And this is how we're going to line up. Marzuki, Bruski, Kift, Maravich, Batang, Jao Pedro, Silva, Eldrissi, Prosperi, Zanardini and Nicholas. We can't fill the bench. Brito is not back yet. If this had been a week later, he'd been back. Everyone is fine. They're all fit. <sighs> Let's get out there and try and win the Champions League for the first time. We have failed twice already, which is never... You know what? Sometimes you don't win the Champions League. <laughs> they have Morel playing for them. Um, Sosa, we know, is good. Maximo is good. Oh, no. they got good defence. They do have a guy called John Lennon. I know it sounds weird, but he's, there he is. John Lennon's playing for them. Imagine if he scores. Yeah, sorry. Uh, Rogier Hussain, he's their uh, player there. Um, you're going to need to prove out there. You did a chance to get your hands on the trick. Yeah, we'll say that. Just go out there. Try your best. Do all you can. I'll be saying the same things to the kids at the weekend because we've got our cup final in the South Belfast Youth League. <laughs> it's, not, it's, it's a bit bigger than the Champions League, to be honest, but... Let's get in there. John Lennon with the throw. He's a working class hero, don't you know? Uh, anyway, Morel, Fransomar, Evandro Maximo, Gomez. Come on, boys. Put a challenge in. <clears throat> Gomez. Bruski does tackle him, but doesn't quite. And we get it away. There's a block in there. Bungana, who is a perpetual thorn in my side. Fransomar, and it's a good tackle. Bruski clears it. It's up to Nicholas. Zanardini's got it now. He goes to try and run and decides he can't run because it was really poor. Uh, they do have Daytona Rally playing for them, remember? They've got a few here. Eladrissi to Nicholas. Nicholas out wide to Bruski. Can Bruski get a good crossing? He gets a crossing oh, just wide. <sighs> Prosperi could do better there, to be honest. We're playing okay. We've had two shots. They've had one. We have had slightly more, well, a lot more of the ball. Come on, boys. Four shots. None on... Hasn't been a shot on target yet. There we go. One on target. Thank God for that. Um, work the ball into box. Remove shoot on sight. No, I'm not removing shoot on sight. Daytona to Jose to Yonk. Morel. Maximo. Burnett. Bungana. Bungana, Bungana, Bunga. Come on. Get him. Batang. Hoofs it clear. Bungana. They seem to just freeze a little bit in these Champions League final. Bungana's still going. Fransomar, he's into the box. Do not give a penalty. I knew he was going to give a penalty away there. I knew he was going to do it. I just, oh, Brewski, what is it with you and penalties? Just walks into the back of his man. This could be the third time we have lost the Champions League. The first time it was to a penalty, wasn't it? Bayern Munich, we give away a penalty after about two seconds against them. And then we missed one. Oh, come on, Marzuki. Fransomar is going to step up. Come on, Marzuki. Come on, Marzuki. Come on, Marzuki. And he's put it into the bottom corner. Let's go attacking. Let's not leave anything out on that pitch. But what is Bruski doing? Is he trying to sing? He just wants to keep the series going for as long as possible. Now, I wasn't going to end the series if we won this. I hope you can hear that, Bruski. Because I've got loads of wonder kids. I want to see them develop. But we're getting to half time and we are 1 0 down against Spurs. Which. <sighs> Football manager DNA will be happy anyway. Right. I'm far from pleased. We're just seeing this. All this we've travelled all this way to Russia with all these fans. And you're playing like this. We're attacking now. Nicholas is having an awful game. Hmm. Like we're 60 minutes in. Nick, you know what, the strikers aren't playing well at all. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause it. I'm going to bring Nicholas off. I'm going to bring on Joey. And I'm going to put Joey for Ella Drissi. And make Joey a winger. That is the plan. That has to be the plan. Right. Come on, boys. We'll have some chances at least. At least drag it to extra time. A free kick or anything. We're going to get nothing in the second half, are we? Nothing at all. They've got a corner. We had it clear. Are we going to get to the ball first? We're not. Burnett gets there first. 
He gives it to Bungana. Can we get a block in and go on the break? Batang gets there. Prosperi, he looks up. He gives it to Eladris. He Eladris, he turns. He beats his man. That's what Nicholas used to do all those years. Can he get a ball into the box? He can. Zanardini, he's hit the ball. No. It was easy to score that. Silva, we've oh, a couple of blocks in there. Come on, boy. He's put it in the net. Very attacking. There's nine minutes to go. Please, boy, you should give me something. Something. Three minutes left. Zanardini's having an awful game. We're getting a high... Come on, boys. Just... just Jao Pedro. Zanardini. Try to pay to Eldrissi. It's really poor, though. Uh, Maximo's got it. He's coming forward. Can we get a block in and hit them on the break? Morel. Morel's going to win the Champions League before I do. And they've scored a second. And that's it. It's over. And once again, we've blown the Champions League. So we continue on a bit longer... I mean, oh, I don't want to see it again. And now I've got to watch Spurs, who have never won the Champions League, lift the Champions League. Oh, this is painful. You know what? If I was a a less scrupulous person on YouTube, I, I know I said that wrong, I would reload this and play it again. <laughs> it's just painful to lose the Champions League every single time. And what happens then? We go again next season. We go again until we win this bloody competition. We just didn't turn up again. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. How do you feel immediately? I'm just disappointed. Massively disappointed. Well, that was grim. Absolutely fuming. Champions League final heartache. Dogs are suffered with the agony again. I mean, we finished miles ahead and we get a load of money. We do. We get we have 13 million, 12 million, that's 25. So there's like 45 million we got for that. Um, collector bonus has paid out. We paid seven and a half for getting to the final. And the best. Game there was a 3 all draw. Biggest overachievers are Spurs. Underachievers Real Madrid went on the group stage. Let's do the end of season review and then we'll chalk this one up to experience, shall we? Again. <laughs> oh. We did have a good season though. We've won two trophies. The new arrivals, who did they like? Zanardini. 53 million was brilliant. Batang, good new arrival. João Pedro, good new arrival. You know, they were pleased with that. And the other boys, out on loan. A plus for Jean-Louis Blanc. His wage, his transfer was, you know, it's 165 grand. Matt, look, look at him. How would I get 160? How would I do that? Free. He basically cost me. I paid him a transfer fee. We didn't bring many in. Um, and had Zinardini hit the ground running because at the start we'd been better. We got a B minus in the Premier League for winning it. What? Champions League, we got a B- minus for coming runner-up. European Super Cup, we got a C. English FA Cup, we got a C-, minus because we only reached the quarter-final. Carabao Cup, we won, got a C+, plus, but they don't care. And Community Shield, they don't care about C+. Plus. We won two trophies, though. Biggest win, 6-0 against Hull. Our, you know, our, our, was it our reserves basically battered them. Uh, the 5-2 win, the match to remember there, again, some unbelievable performances this year. And the goal of the season goes to El Adrissi, running for inside the Newcastle half, striker skins an opponent before scoring. Why can't I click it? Why can't I click this? Please, SI, fix that. I don't have to go into the game to bring it up, because that's a nightmare. Finances-wise, sponsorship is up. Broadcast revenue is slightly down. Corporate hospitality is up. Competition prize money is massively up. And match day commercial and retail is down, weirdly. No new sponsors this season. No new sponsors that deal last year. Um, we're, we're worldwide. We're one of the best teams in the world. Brito, Nicholas, Kift, Silver and Eldrishy, the new shirt sales. Six, 677,000 shirts. Uh, Non-domestic sales, 10.8 million in non-domestic sales. That's a lot of money. How we lined up, Nicholas, Zanardini, Eldrishy, Brito, João Pedro, Silva, Bruski, Maravich, Kift, Batang. You know what? I mean, look at them. All with average ratings over seven. They've done really well. And now the accolades. I was managing them for August, November, December, January, March and April. Not managed of the year this year though. Interesting enough. Brito, player of the season. 
Silva, young player of the season at 24. Come on, that's not young. Uh, Sign of the season, Zanardini, of course. Goal of the season, El Adrissi. Top goal goal scorer, Zanardini, 31 in the end. Most assists, 27 assists for the season for Brito. And Nicholas has now 128 goals for the club. Most league goals by a player at Darlington is Nicholas, who I think it might be time to sell. Do I add some sell for value? Sell for action price, we're going to say... If I get 80 million from, it's painful, isn't it? I don't want to sell him. He's 30 now, and... Um, yeah, we've got better players coming in. History in the making, then. Superb season for the Quakers. Claim six successive title. Six successive title. Still no Champions League. Oh, Del Foss is now named in the overall best 11. Is he? Oh, he's on the bench, is he? Joey's down there. Um, DeVos. You know what? DeVos is starting to look pretty good. Pretty good. He'd be the second best striker at the club. Um, what The best 11, where are they now? I don't know. It doesn't really matter, does it? Season review there. Club vision expectations. Where do they want me to do? Challenge for the Premier League fight. Well, I can do that. Semi fight. Yeah, you know what? That is all easy. Do I just... A, where are Did I accept it? I don't know. Negotiate. I accept it. Anyway, end of season preview. Let's just mess us up. Congratulations for winning the title. It's great achievements. Make sure you're back. Fully rested. Because I won't accept anything less than winning a game next season. There's nobody here. Because they've all gone to the Euros. Apart from... Basoli, Jovic, Gavi, Aladresi, obviously because he's Egyptian, and Prosperi. Where's Prosperi going? Where's Prosperi from? Uh, we're aiming to win the Champions League. Okay, okay. I might have got to it, yeah. Okay. That's just, yeah, all right, it's all right. Yeah, we'll do that. Good. Why is Prosperi not going? Maybe they're not in the Euros. Maybe they didn't get there. I can't click his name. I forgot where he's from. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Anyway. Anyway, if you haven't joined me, bottle in the Champions League once again. I don't know why you are. Um, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm back tomorrow at 4.30 for another episode. Or Twitch tomorrow night at 7. Twitch.tv forward slash echoes. I'll see you all again soon.